Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer Four Four Extra. So today, guys, we'll be doing some Total Drama Island 2023 um, predictions. So, like I said, guys, I'm be predicting the new season. I made some five predictions. I made some interesting predictions, guys, and I'm gonna be com and making guesses for this. Okay, so guys, just gonna let you guys know. Now, some rules and things we have to take into consideration. Number one is that I know the new season's already out. It's already out in Italy. Um, and obviously, I know some people that aren't in Italy have already watched it through illegal websites and everything. I'm personally not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing waiting for the official release here in the United States. And I will be doing a daily episode. So whenever it premieres here, I will try my absolute best to do daily episode reactions for you guys. Um, obviously, I can't do live reactions because, you know, copyright issues and everything. But I'll definitely try to do it as soon as I can watch the episode. And I'll do like a review. Maybe I might do a live reviews per se. Um, everything like that. So... Um, we'll have to wait and see, though, um, when it comes out. Hopefully it comes out during the summer, because in the summer, obviously, you know, I can do this. Obviously, if it's during the fall time, it's going to be too late, so, you know, and everything. And another thing as well, you're going to be noticing in this video that the comment section is disabled. And please don't storm in my DMs and say, why did you disable the comments? The reason why I disabled the comments is because there is a potential chance that some of you guys could spoil the new season for me. And I really don't want to be spoiled here because I heard the new season is really good. Some of my friends have already told me about it and I'm really looking forward to the season and I don't want it to be ruined for me guys. I really want to enjoy this for myself and I really feel like this will be a great experience. So that's why I really don't want to ruin it. And this is actually my first time I've actually seen a TD season being released um, waiting for it because normally in the previous seasons I actually saw it like um, released. I um, I, I, had to, uh, I was already there out. You know, this is the first time I'm actually seen, you know, so I really don't want to ruin that experience for myself. So that's why I'm disabling it. Now, once the new season is premiered in the United States, it releases, I will obviously disable the um, enable the comments. It's just I don't want it to be, I just wanted to disable it here so that um, I don't get ruined my experience, okay? And now further ado, man, let's go ahead and get on to the prediction. So let's start with the first timestamp here, guys, and that is the first boot. For me, it's going to be Wayne. I just feel as though that this character, Wayne, for me, I just feel as though that I just don't really feel like he's, I, I just feel like he's gonna, he's just going to be clueless. I just don't think he really knows what he's doing and everything. And it just looked like one of those characters that's just there just for filling up the numbers. Now, I could be very wrong in saying this because, like I said, guys, I really don't know the characters all that well. So it's, you know, I'm just making a random guess here. But from what I can see from the visual design, it just seems as though that he will be the first character eliminated. Who knows? I could be very wrong. Okay. Next character we have here is an antagonist. Antagonist for me, it's got to be um, Raj. I feel as though that this person just looks evil. You know, the way he is smiling doesn't feel genuine. And I feel like this guy is just going to, he just gives me Alejandro vibes. Like he's, he's going to seem like a nice person, but once you get to know him, he's going to be an evil, evil person that has like twisted um, you know, manipulations, everything like that. He's going to manipulate people and everything. And I just feel as though he has the perfect traits to be an antagonist. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm going to go for him. Our next character is an upset. Um, the, uh, Priya, for me, I think she's a very smart person, from what I could tell. And obviously, I think it's going to be interesting to see how... Um, the reason why I actually pick her is simply because she's going to be too good in the challenges. I think she's going to excel a lot of the challenges and the team phase possibly the merge phase as well and i just have a feeling that she's gonna get blindsided i feel like she's gonna be an alliance with some other people and then they're gonna backstab her i feel like they're gonna backstab her me i don't know which phase i'm more likely inclined to go with the merge phase but something tells me it might also happen in the team phase but i think it's more likely in the merge phase and she'll just be eliminated simply because she's just too good at the challenges and she's just way too smart okay next up it is the most challenge wins now this is a very wild card guess and i'm I might even regret making this one, but I had to go for a wild card guess, guys. And I'm going to go with Scary Girl. I think Scary Girl, for me, I think she's going to be one of the most interesting characters. And she gives me the Izzy vibe, you know. And I feel like she's going to be much more like... Uh, she gives me like... she. It, it kind of feels as though that they're trying to combine her with Gwen and Izzy. It feels like it's like a combination of the two. And I feel like she's going to be like that kind of person. Who knows, though? I could be very wrong. But I'm going to go with her to be, to get the most challenge wins. I feel like she's going to have her insane personality and her craziness will lead to her getting the most challenge wins. And now, finally, we have the finalist. You know, I picked Ripper because I think Ripper just is a very popular character. Um, I think he looks very interesting. He gives me, he feels like a very, like, he feels like Owen in some ways and very, like, kind and friendly. And also kind of like, 
the nerd kind of way as well. So I feel as though that he's going to be um, there. And then I picked up wild card person and I picked MK. I don't know why. I just feel like she just for me is someone that you probably don't expect her to make the final, but I think she will be really good in the challenges and stuff like that. So it's going to be very interesting to see how these prediction ages, guys, because it's going to be very interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, I know you guys can't tell me in the comments, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And um, please let me know and direct message me. If you have any concerns, any thoughts, and you like these predictions, you can always feel free to contact me in my link tree below in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Well, don't comment, obviously, but yeah, check out my uh, other podcast in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.